I'm Sherry Killily, and today I'm going to show you how I made that adorable footstool cover that's cinched on with ribbon. Uh, first thing we need to do is measure the footstool, and I'm going to go from the floor in the front to the floor in the back, and take note of that measurement. And I'm going to go both ways, floor in the front to the floor in the back, and then I'm going to cut a rectangle equal to that because I'm using just a very narrow uh, seam allowance to get it up off the floor. If you want a bigger hem allowance, if you've got a lighter fabric, that maybe you want a really nice looking um, heavy one inch hem or something, add that to that so measurement. You start with just a rectangle of fabric. Now if you draped the rectangle of fabric over this, you would see that in the corner, the corner is going to drag down um, and that needs to get rounded out so that the corner doesn't drag. I ran to, ran mine out up even higher to give it a fun um, kind of improvised look. If you want it all, you know, very uniform, um, then we can do some calculating. So to do that, um, measure again, floor to floor, but diagonally. Okay, so get that measurement. Then on your rectangle, um, you can measure those diagonals and center then um, the, the measurement that you need because you're going to be cutting off um, on all the corners. So you're going to be rounding all of the corners. We do want to round them um, no matter whether we're taking it, you know, say, say for style you didn't want the corners to go to the floor. Just measure to where you do want them to go, okay? So you've got that measurement of where you want those corners to be, um, and then you're gonna round uh, your fabric from there um, before you actually do the cutting though. So just do the marking for now. Before you do the cutting, I want you to do some more marking, and that's where to put your buttonholes that the ribbon runs through. So to figure out where the buttonholes go, we're gonna just take a ruler and hold it up and figure you know, what what looks good, or even on the original upholstery, where is there kind of a ridge for the padding versus the frame? That's usually a really good spot because whoever built the furniture built it with good proportions in mind, if it's a good piece. So here it's at the 10 inch mark from the floor. So since I cut my rectangle floor to floor, I can measure from raw edge to this 10 inches to know where I want my buttonholes. And then as far as figuring out how far apart I measure them uh, also and figure out what looks good. So I used five and a half inches for this one. I want my buttonholes five and a half inches apart. So I've got my rectangle of fabric and I want to draw a temporary line um, diagonally to show me my, my center line here, basically giving me a point that two and a half inches from this line would be a buttonhole and two and a half inches the other side of it would be the other buttonhole. So I need that that center line. That's why I haven't cut the fabric yet. So from that corner, the 45 degree angle um, gets drawn in some temporary way because obviously you don't want that to show. And then, um, then you're measuring also the 10 inches up or whatever your distance is and um, then two and a half inches from that line and 10 inches up would be the start of a buttonhole. And then 10 inches up over here and two and a half inches from this line would be another buttonhole. So I've got um, four pairs of buttonholes going around, marked like that, and just go ahead and sew the buttonholes. Then I can curve out um, the sides. I can do my cutting and um, you know, you could fold the fabric so that you cut once and you're cutting all the curves the same. Um, or you could cut one curve and then fold and cut the other one to match and then fold and cut those two to match the two that you just made. So try to make the, the curves matching. So you've got this oval of fabric with these buttonholes in it. Um, you go ahead and hem the oval and then putting it on, you... And you know, one of the things I like about this cover is that when it's time to take it off and wash it, it's still a flat piece of fabric. So if I have something like this um, K 
canvas that gets really wrinkly, I can iron it because it's flat. Um, it's just a big flat thing that I can iron, which I love. Um, it's sometimes the one thing about slipcovers is they're hard to iron, you know, when you have a lot of different shapes. Putting the ribbon through is really easy with the bodkin. I'm running it over the top and then through underneath in the corners. And you could do different things on the corners. Um, you know, you could experiment with different things. I like the ribbon going all the way around and through, um, but you could try different things of uh, cinching those corners together. Um, I also like the ribbon to go around twice because I really want this cinched down so when you're using the footstool, uh, you don't have any shifting. So I've got it all around there. I'm going to wrap it around the second time. Take off the okay. and then tie it. I need work with my bows. <laughs> but you get the idea. So then futz with the corners until you have them how you want them. And adorable little footstool. Again, I'm Sherry Killily, my company is Studio Sherry. Thanks for watching.